This is a 17-year cicada. In June 2015, we recorded these cicadas singing in the forests around Clinton Lake. These cicadas emerge in huge numbers every 17 years to mate and lay eggs. The males gather in trees and sing together to attract the females. This makes a very distinctive sound. Cicadas call every five seconds. When they all call together, this produces waves of sound, called cycles. We can draw the form of the wave as the sound level goes from low to high to low again. At any point in time, we can represent how far through the cycle the cicadas have got with a single number, theta. Volunteers from KU went into the forest with their smartphones and recorded the cicadas cycling at different locations spaced from 50 to 400 metres apart. The following animation represents the sound of the cicadas as it was recorded at the different points in the forest. This animation represents the locations as circles. The size of the circle represents the amount of cycling. At each point in time, locations with the same theta value have the same colour. The animation is speeded up 60 times. There are regions of the forest where the cicada singing has the same theta value at different locations for many minutes. Throughout such a period, the peaks and troughs in sound level occur at the same time at these locations. Animals acting at the same point in time in different locations is called synchrony. Cicadas are excellent synchronizers over two very different timescales, able both to sing in synchrony and to emerge in synchrony every 17 years. We've shown that cicadas in different locations are synchronized and we are working to understand what factors encourage synchronization. We develop new mathematical techniques to describe ecological synchrony because it is important to many plants and animals throughout the world. We plan to apply these techniques to study outbreaks of pest species, synchronous increases, and the stability of ecological communities, which is thought to be reduced by synchrony. The 17-year cicadas won't return to Kansas until 2032, but listen out for them where you are.